Hey guys, Brian and Jeff with WorkshopAddict.com and JC Kayer out of Canada sent us these two drills to go back and forth and to battle it out to the death. So if you're in Canada, we're gonna put a link down in the description. Visit JC Kayer's site, check them out on prices. Uh, we're in the US, but we're more than willing to do some stuff for them and beat some tools up and show you guys what happens. We've got the DCD996 and the 2804-20, and we're gonna put them up to each other and see which one comes out on top. These two drills are not DeWalt's Tool Connect and not Milwaukee's One Key, but they are top of the line drills for what's on the market. You'll find these in a lot of different high-end kits or you can buy them separately. So if you're really close to the camera here, you might see that both of them are a little wet. And we had to do a test first before we came out here just because these two guys were in the freezer. People have mentioned in the past, how do they work in cold conditions? Do the batteries last? Do they perform well? So like you said, we threw them in a freezer overnight, took them out. We had the thermal imager in there and they ran anywhere from like a negative four to a negative, negative seven, nine. nine. It was in there, so depending on where you had it. So these tools were cold. We've done this test before and they're, I mean, we pulled out the Milwaukee. This is the Gen 3. It's a smaller drill, but it's got a nice auxiliary handle. Put it in low range, you're rocking in here. It looks slower than we've seen it in the past. And is that just because they were cold? Or was it all in our head thinking, wow, this is slow? When we got the DeWalt out, we've never done this test with the DeWalt before, it's far, even in the warmth. So we got this three speed tool down in low range and let it eat. And I was surprised too to say, you know, it looked like it was doing a little bit better than the Milwaukee as far as speed, mm -hmm. but they both seem to get to the same place and time out. Yeah, same length drill. What was that, a three quarter? Three quarter by 18. Yep. And they both got, once you ran out of thread, or not thread, but auger mm -hmm. on the bit, and it started to bind up inside is where they both timed out at. The DeWalt might have went in half inch longer. Yeah. There, I think there's gonna be a significant difference in the cold. And I think what we're gonna find here too is that we're not gonna be able to really test DeWalt in speed two. We're gonna be testing in different speeds. So up next, we're gonna try to take these two cold tools and heat them up. For this test, we're gonna use the two same cold five amp hour batteries with two brand new one inch speed bores. Who drills faster? It's gonna go one, two, three, go. Trigger, okay. both on high speed. Okay, stay out of the knots. One, two, three, go. Ooh. One Smoke more. Me. I did. Go this way. One, two, three, go. Ha ha. Try it again. One, two, three, go. Still beat me. Yep, one more time. One, two, three, go. I think I beat it. Yep. Do it again. One, two, three, go. I might have read lit. You got me off the line, but I still beat you. <laughs> you did, yep. Okay, one more. One, two, three, go. Why do you keep timing out over there? I might have moved just a hair at the end, but it's right at the end. Hmm. Two brand new bits, two drills with pretty much the same battery. And they both, both batteries did the same amount of work until that point. Which was just one hole. Right. And I'm amazed that the DeWalt won every time. Every single time. There wasn't, it wasn't even close. No, and there's a significant size difference here. Uh, you can tell between the two, but other than that, I actually expected the Milwaukee Gen 3 just to blow right past that one. And, and I, it didn't, definitely. Now, somebody's gonna come out and say, you should have done that test with the six amp hour batteries. They're here, we're gonna we're continue to do, do it, relax. So, 
Leave us in the comments, complain we should have done it in this test, whatever. We, these tools come with the 5.0 amp hour batteries in the packs, in the kits. You have to come out and buy the 6.0 amp hour battery. The percentage of people using them right now is pretty low, but I think that neither way, I think both would have still killed it here. So we're gonna give that win to the DeWalt. From there, the next test is where we're gonna find out some heat issues maybe. It's nice to get a chance to use these drills over and over when you're comparing them and just drilling these holes was, there's quite a bit going on. I mean, if you're framing or you're doing something in electrical wise, you're not gonna drill as many holes as we did as quick to completely drain the two batteries down. And this one wasn't a speed competition. It was hole per hole, just drilling the same amount of holes. They both timed out at certain situations, yep. could have been user error, whatever it may have been. Uh, they both felt warm at the end. What was interesting to me, and I don't know how you felt, but I'll just tell you how I felt. I, the Milwaukee handle is so much longer, or farther out, a little more stable, Stability. but the drill is smaller. So I didn't feel as comfortable drilling with the Milwaukee as I did the DeWalt. And that, that really surprised me because I use the Milwaukee a lot. And the DeWalt just felt like it, it was still faster as we went hole for hole. And it just felt more comfortable. I agree with you 100%. This feels more comfortable in your hand, even though it's got a shorter handle. I don't know if it's because it this, drills faster, you're not fighting it. The power and size? Yeah. We always have said, you know, the, the Milwaukee has won a lot of competitions mm -hmm. against larger drills. And I think we were working on the rigid and it said the same thing. The rigid felt a little more comfortable, maybe because of the amount of power and size. Either way, it was a total surprise to me to grab onto the DeWalt and say, wow, this just feels controllable and comfortable mm -hmm. and fast. I agree. I mean, this one is a lot smaller body wise, but then with that bigger handle, I don't know if you really need the bigger handle. I don't know. You, it, with the size of the tool, it's nice. And we're going to get up into some bigger bits and that handle may come into play. Mm -hmm. But when we come back in here and we talk about thermal issues, there is no doubt that the Milwaukee is hotter towards the rear and down the handle slightly. And it's still warm. You grab onto it right now, this one's not bad, but that one's still got some heat in it. But the Milwaukee battery, which only has one bar left, is... Two. Two bars left? The DeWalt has one. Yes, two bars left is not as bad. When no. you get into the DeWalt, the DeWalt was 20 degrees cooler up top. The handle was a little bit warm, but you don't notice it as much as when you grab onto the Milwaukee handle. But the battery has got one bar left, and the and battery was warm. hotter than the DeWalt by a long right. shot. So we're going to go into kind of a, whatever that is. Thermally, I wouldn't worry about either one. Feeling in your hand-wise, I think the Milwaukee is always going to feel warmer. Well, for you guys up in Canada where it's cold, it's going to keep your hands warm. Yes, if you're in Texas, <laughs> maybe the opposite way. You, you might be like, okay, that's warm. But I don't think that feeling is a issue because no. it's not transferring into the battery. So what we're going to do now is get out a larger bore bit and just put these two back into low. We're going to get out the high powered batteries and just see how they do there. Speed one, new battery, fully charged, six amp. Low. 
So hole one with each drill, no issue? No, none whatsoever. Move on to hole two with the Milwaukee. No problem. No problem. Hole two with the DeWalt. I don't know what happened there. No. And that's why we moved on to hole three. No. Which still... It was the initial bite into it. It stalled out, but after that, it went right through. So, is that a user issue where you're Lumber moving? Lumber issue? It, we don't it, know. That's where I think that the auxiliary handle. It may, it would make a big difference if this had, with that drill or with something really large. This has a lot of power where it could definitely use a longer handle. Yeah, the DeWalt does have a lot of power and the longer handle. And that could have been an issue where it was just tweaking enough and timing itself out. Either way, you got to give it to Milwaukee for making it through because mm -hmm. that was pretty serious both ways. Two holes, no problem. So I think at this point, let's see what a little concrete will do. We'll get out some of our half inch concrete bits and have a little race. So the concrete drilling test was not too big of a surprise to me because we've done a couple tests with that guy, the Milwaukee before. It's a little slow. It seems a bit slower. I know the Rigid beat it, uh, the DeWalt beat it quite a bit. The DeWalt's loud. Yeah, really loud, which loud. you'll probably be able to tell. Yeah, well, you might not figure it out until you know the so DeWalt wins, that but time. man, that, the DeWalt is loud. So um, here nor there, the Milwaukee lost this. We had uh, brand new Bosch bits in here. So we switched users, did the whole thing, same outcome. It is what it is. The, both these drills are hot, but we were using the 6.0 amp hour batteries at this point. I would both say- Both still fully charged. Yeah, the, I, the DeWalt is starting to get warm on the top. This little metal piece here might be a tad warmer than uh, the Milwaukee battery is cold. Yeah. I say we start our demolition. Let's see what these are gonna do in torture testing.
water is cold. I have a different noise. Yes, we were slowing down. There we go. I slowed down again. You just stop. Sorry. You got nothing. Look at this one. Hopefully my head wasn't. They survived the F-150. <laughs> <laughs> and the snow of northern Michigan. I'm a little bit uh, surprised. When we first drove over the DeWalt, I don't know if you can hear it, uh, there was a crack, and it was where the battery is held into place. So there is definitely a difference now. In Which, yeah, it, it's hard to take the battery off. It goes in a little harder. Still works. Still works, no issue. The Milwaukee, not a single crack when it went over. I was very, very surprised. It just took it, no issue. Uh, the drills were in the same place, on tire tracks, on top of stone. Really surprised there. From there, the water testing is, I mean, there are tools <laughs> that get used in water, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean you're not in a hole, you're used. excavating, you're doing things like that. And it sucks, but not, not like that. We're not submersing it in a bucket for... Yeah, we were just, that's not smart. Don't do that at home, don't do that to your tools. But it gives you an idea of what these tools will take and... What, the Milwaukee was the one that quit? It, the drill didn't quit, the battery. the battery did. And that's because we dunked it complete. But the DeWalt kept running. Yeah. And it did start, we lost different settings for a while. We lost the variable the speed trigger got a little funky on us. And that's probably because of the soap and the water in the inside. But um, it didn't like a good cleaning? It, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. So then we wanted to say, okay, well, let's blow them out with the air, compressed air, and just get everything set as we can so that they're reliable, but then see if they'll work afterwards and not like let them dry. Let's just put yeah, them right to work. You can see there's still water coming out of this. Oh yeah, one. you hit the, yeah. You so don't want to be They're not completely on. dry yet. And they, they performed. We went right back to the one inch spade bit and they rocked and rolled. Yeah. Uh, and, and the more we use this one, the more we've got the three different settings back. Yeah, the DeWalt variable speed trigger came back the more we used it. So, And we'll heat them up and dry them out. These two drills are still rocking. There's nothing wrong with them. You can continue to go with them. Normally in our tests in the summer, we will go over to a pile of sand and a pile of rocks. Run Pack them, them full of sand. And yeah, we'll get out. Um, we'll get out the little John Deere. It's not a... Kids deer. kids deer and go at it, but we can't in here. It, Everything's it frozen froze. right now. So the only thing that we could do is run them through salt, and I don't know what that would prove. That'd be a longevity thing. May, yeah. yeah, we're not gonna do that now. So as far as we went through, what would you say at the end? Who lived? I don't want to say it's a draw. I, I will. I'm gonna come through and say comfort-wise, if I'm doing something more like the one-inch spade bit over and over and over. I like the DeWalt. But if you go to this, the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee. So it, I think they both have their points where they shine. You know, the, the, the DeWalt, if it had a longer handle, might shine in more things. I like the three speeds, especially when you start working in different metals and stuff like that. I've always liked that DeWalt three speed. But you still have a variable speed trigger. I get so. it. If I had to buy one of them, I would be hard pressed is to, to say, am I a DeWalt guy or a Milwaukee guy? And it's the Ford and Chevy debate. It's gonna be down to who you like more. And it's gonna, I really like the LED light that on the DeWalt that likes to, that now is not real happy, I get it. <laughs> um, but <laughs> the durability factor, the Milwaukee, the Milwaukee took, it. took it a little better than the DeWalt did. There's no doubt there. And so 
longevity, is that going to say something? We've got both these drills in our shop and we've been using both these drills in our shop about the same amount of time. We've had zero issues with either one. Right. We didn't drive over them or submerge them in water, but... No, but normal daily shop use, yeah. mostly drilling in metals, doing small things. They both have uh, E-clutches on them. I like the fact that DeWalt's trying to pull back the, you know, made in the USA or assembled in the USA with global materials. I like that they're bringing that back here. I like the grip. DeWalt's always had a great grip. I like the size of the Milwaukee. I'm so, not going to puss out here. I'm just going to say that if I had to buy one drill for the shop, I'd buy the Milwaukee. I'm not going to say that Milwaukee's better than DeWalt or DeWalt's better than Milwaukee. I like both of them. I think it's up to you to decide. I think they're both very comparable drills. You get to the end of the video and you're going to just leave that? No. Would you want me to pick one? Yeah, what would you buy? Well, you know we're both red. So I would probably go with the Milwaukee. But before that, I was all yellow. So it's, it's a tough decision when you try and tell the general public which one to buy. If I was an electrical contractor and drilling with this one inch spade bit all day long and I could deal with the two inches or so of extra space, I would drill with the DeWalt because it was a lot more comfortable. And it was faster. By a long shot. No. But is, and I like the three speeds, but Either. This handle is short and kind of a old thing and it's, you know, Milwaukee's had how many generations of drills come out since, since this, one. this guy came out. So. But, but when you got something good, do you change it? No. Because so, one of those things, man, that this, yeah, that light needs to go <laughs> away. Either way, they both made it through. They're both beaten, they're both damaged, but they're both still functioning. We appreciate you watching this video. Please give us a like, give us your comments below and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to stop by JC Care and just check out what they have on their site. We appreciate them sponsoring this video with giving us these two drills and allowing us to show you what they can do. Thanks for your time again. Have a great day.